Science Tech. Uh, so guys, in today's example, uh, I will teach you how you can bind expressions from JavaScript to your Lightning Web component. So guys, in today's example, we'll be creating a form in our LWC component and we'll bind the values that expressions from the JavaScript part. Okay. So guys, uh, let's start today's example. So we'll create a Lightning Web component first. Okay, let's name it bind expressions from JS. Okay, so the page has been created guys. This is the page. So let me just copy the XML part first. Okay, so I'm just taking the XML part uh, from one of my previous component. Okay, here it is. All right, guys. So, guys, now this is the default HTML page uh, we get while create a new component. So, let me just copy the layout again from one of my old components. So, I will just copy the complete template from here to this component. Okay. So, we are having the expression here, guys. So, let's change the name of this lightning card. bind expressions from js okay so and let's remove this variable now so guys so we will create form here in in that form we will take the basic details from user and underneath that form we will display the basic details okay so let's create lightning input here okay Let's name it so first of all we will take the user's name and let's have a label also so label will be full name and we will have on change also here So this is the input for the name guys. Okay. So guys using the same way we will create an input for phone number and for email also. Okay. So guys for these input you can just check out this lightning bundle this lightning uh, web component bundle in this you can find all the inputs here so let's say if i would like to have phone here so for phone numbers we can take this number input so as you can see there are multiple number uh, number inputs available here this one is required number with percentage number with placeholder so we will take we can take any one of them okay so let's take the first one let's copy it and paste it here all right i think we copied the wrong thing okay so this is another lightning input let's name it phone and uh, enter for mobile number okay then we will have another lightning input and guys it will be lightning dash input like when you will be copying it from the bundle so it is lightning call input but uh, in this lightning web component it will be lightning dash input okay now let's have the email one so here it is email input with 
predefined values so we won't be having the predefined values here so let me just copy this so as you can see here it is lightning column input but remember to change it with dash here we are having a problem here invalid syntax non void html element start tag okay i think it is asking us to close the tag directly like this okay so let's have the lightning input here and let's make it lightning dash input and let's close it so type is email uh, name is email it is fine so we'll remove the value here we need user to put the value and to fill with predefined value so let's change the label to email only okay all right so and also guys we'll be having the of course the on change event to get the values underneath this form okay so let's have on change here and here as well okay so guys we are having three fields here now let's go to the javascript part so this is the default javascript format which you will be getting while creating a component guys now we will update this javascript as per our requirement okay so guys first we will declare some um, parameters here okay <clears throat> and underneath that form we have to create the values also so let's create the value part first okay so let's go to the html again and this was the div tag okay and let's create another div here i'm using pure html here guys okay so let's give style and have padding for 10 pixels okay and now let's create a table kind of format to display the data or we can have them directly because we are having label here also so i think we won't need the table format here so but we can print the data okay let's fill the table okay so let's print full name and here we will print the value so let's name it full name okay let me just copy this this will be for phone and this will be for email so let's have it okay who's calling me now all right guys hold on a second let me just take this call and as usual this was a call from customer care okay let's ignore it okay so we will create uh, let me just put my phone on the airplane mode okay so let's create the email and let's name it email here okay and after that we will be having phone okay now let's give the border of this table so let's have border equals to one here okay so we have created the input also underneath that form we will be displaying the fields so guys now let's move to the javascript part again okay so this is the default html so first of all we will we can assign the value in the variables or we can directly work on the handle change event so let's create the event now okay so guys now we have to identify on which field the target is working right now because there are multiple targets now okay there are three input fields 
and we are having a common handle change uh, for those three fields as per the best practice so first we will identify the target here okay so we will have a constant here to identify the field and let's name it field dot target dot so basically we'll be having fields uh, the targeted fields are name in this constant field okay so now let's check a field is full name let me just check the syntax one because javascript is case sensitive so n is capital here okay this talk full name let me check the name again full name okay this dot full name is equal to event dot target dot value sorry target dot name and we'll have the value here then we'll have a else if here okay so if field name is email then we will do this dot email is equal to un dot target dot value and at the end we will we will check for a field name equal equals to phone or i think it was mobile okay it is phone So we'll do the same thing here. This dot phone is equal to event dot target dot value. Okay, so this was the handle change part, guys. Okay. So by this we will be having this full name, uh, email, and phone number here in this table which we have created underneath this form. Okay. And guys, uh, you can also have the JavaScript ex expression like let's say if you are using the uppercase function here, so you can have the value in uppercase. So let's say if you need the upper the full name in uppercase, so let's make it full name is equal to full name uh, dot to uppercase. okay let's save it so we'll always have the full name value in uppercase now okay or guys you can do one more thing you can create a expression here so you can just directly have the uppercase value uh, you can create a common uh, function for this then you can have that function value here and you can call that function directly from the html part okay let me show you how to do it so let's say if we have created a function here the function name is get uppercase okay and it will return it will return this dot full name and it will change the value to to uppercase okay and let me just remove this from here so let's say if you are having multiple inputs in which you need the uppercase you can just simply create a uppercase type here and then you can just assign this value to your html page itself let me show you how you can assign the uppercase value uh, on a page so let me just open the html page here so guys here we can just instead of this value we can have uppercase here so basically it will call this expression the uppercase and it will return the 
uppercase directly from this full name or you can just directly have that full name uh, in the if expression also okay so that's how guys you can have the expressions here all right so let me just deploy this component so we can just check out the output okay so right click deploy source to org it is deployed successfully okay let's go to the page again hit the edit page okay the component name was bind expressions from js so let's search for bind here it is so this is our component guys okay let's save it and check the output all right guys so this is our component and in full name we are having this dot full name by default let me just check the output first all right so we are not having the values here let me check it once okay it is displaying the text basically this dot full name in two uppercase we are having correct syntax here we are having all right now we, we, we were not having correction the correct syntax will be this so instead of curly braces i was having round braces here this this should work now so let's deploy it to source again just deploy it again let's refresh it okay let's put the name here all right great success it is working now so guys this was the very strange choice of special character i must say to display the field and display the expression here directly so guys uh, it is working absolutely fine now as you can see we are having phone number we are having email also here so it is working as expected so so that is it for today guys and i will be having this complete code on my blog also which is salesforcebold.com so you can just directly go there and check out the complete code there and guys in javascript please remember you can also have these kind of silly mistakes see uh, whether it is a senior developer or it is junior developer everyone everyone will use google to you know to search things around and to find these kind of silly mistakes so there's no need to worry worry about it guys so if i can have this so you can also handle it okay so i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching